Okay, those who know me well probably thought the last thing they would ever see is me doing a video in the kitchen. <laughs> but, okay, I'm attempting to make chop after um, seeing Pamela's lecture um, at the Step Up last uh, Saturday. And um, also I went online and I saw a video by Patricia Sund. I mean, she makes her chop in the bathroom tub. <laughs> I guess she makes a lot of it. And then Chris Porter also has some, so I've been doing some research. So today is Saturday, the 8th of June, and I am attempting to make chop. And I want to see how long this is going to last. So what I use, these are Australian products. Four bean mix, pearl barley, Coles organic white grain quinoa. That was a hard product to find. It doesn't seem to be popular. And... This puffed millet, just because I think, you know, it's some, millet is something they like, and, I, and it's crunchy, and I want the birds to be attracted to this stuff. And I got just half a bag of corn left over. That's the quinoa, after it's been cooked and somewhat fluffy. Okay, in here, what I've got is chopped broccoli, radishes, and... God, what else did I put in there? Oh, string beans. They're in the bottom, so I'm going to have to mix the whole thing up. That's the barley after it's been cooked. This is the four bean mix. Like, I had to soak this overnight and then cook it. And it's like they're, you know, firm, not mushy. You don't want them mushy. And then we've got shredded carrots. And what's that's like the stem of the broccoli. And more shredded carrots. Now, since this, I don't have any bowls big enough to contain all this at once, so what I'm going to do is clean the sink with F10 to disinfect it and mix it in here and then redistribute it back into the bowls. And then, because you can also freeze this stuff, I'm going to put them in these and then hopefully freeze them. So that's part one. Now, the next step, I'm going to have to shut this off and mix it because I can't do both at once.